Welcome, I'm Daily Fix, and we are playing Space Engineers. Now, last time I said I was going to be working on the base, and yes, I did do that. I'm going to show you what I did. Now, I'm not very happy with the outside, uh, but the inside, I think, is looking absolutely amazing. Um, it is... Well, well, it, it has some round corners, it, it has some edge stuff things, and... It's, it's not feeling like a brick at all. Although, during my construction, there was this uh, tiny bit next to this that absolutely got me uh, <laughs> feeling like I had to tear everything down. Um, now, I decided that this would be a great way to get outside or to a perhaps a platform, a... Um, We'll just see how that goes. Now, also, uh, if, if I dim my own lights, this, this I don't think it's too dark. Although, I would really like to start moving my refinery and my assembler downstairs. Yes, I'm saying downstairs because that is what I have planned up. Um, the reason why I would like to do is, uh, I would like to go down a couple of blocks. Uh, just to get the refinery downstairs. Um, maybe not only just one. Maybe I want to have like three or four of these uh, bad boys. Uh, completely hooked up with um, the modules on the back. Also, my assembler here. Could use two modules as well. And I'm thinking probably speed and yield. But we'll have to see what it will do to our um, power of the base. So I'm, I'm quite happy with the base. Like I said, not really happy with the outside yet. I've not done any work of it. I will be working the corners. Probably something like that. Or just adding a maybe another row. And extend it outwards. That will also mean that I will have to change the locations of my solar panels. And they are it's just lying flat on here. And yeah, it's not the greatest. There's, there's a lot of wasted space due to the the box of the, um, the wind turbines. Which is a bit of a shame. Why is that one white and the rest is all... Black. Hmm. We might have to get ourselves a different color for these. Maybe, maybe like blue. I don't know. Maybe, maybe blue. Let's see. Uh, no, definitely not blue. I kind of like them black. There you go. Be black, little buddy. There you go. So, what will happen with the roof? I'm not quite sure about... Uh, it's something for the future. I've spent, I guess, about six to 12,000 steel plates on uh, the construction. Damn, also the sun. What is up with that sky? <laughs> wow. Um, so, yeah, I I'm happy with the results. I'm, uh, I'm happy and how it looks. Even with the lighting, we're not running with the, uh, with the flashlight on. So, I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. Let me, uh, I do need to press the right button. Oh, I see, I didn't change that over here. I, I still need to do that. Space engineers and then third party member. I'm sorry for the blackness there for a second, but it will, uh, there you go. So if I make a screenshot now, you can actually see what I'm doing. And if I alt tap out, um, if you want to add me on Steam, then go ahead. I've spent 35 hours in this, in the game so far. 14 14 in the past two weeks and is the current session eight minutes so this is a new session guys so i want to be moving everything downstairs now, i don't want to do everything by hand especially since we have a a mining vehicle although it does mean that we'll have to be digging out um the surface a bit ourselves otherwise that it, it's not going to work out the way i hope so that's going to be oof, some some work, definitely some work. Because I have to do like everything by hand without destroying everything that comes between it. 
and that is a bit of a challenge for me i i have noticed that i'm not really particularly good at mining things out especially when i do not have a grid also everything that i all of these blocks i need to get out uh, i need to um, manually collect Ooh, where is my bearings there you go i should just use the right mouse button for this right i, I know i should i know i should but uh, th th this is a lot of iron and a lot of silicon and a, a lot of uh, something else which I can't remember the name of at the moment. So I don't necessarily want to get everything uh, just out. But this is the fastest way, the right mouse button. But let's see if we can actually fit our miner in here. I've been doing a lot of trips and there is one other thing that definitely has to be built. And that is way more storage. It's way more storage. Now, in order for us to collect stone, we need to turn off our sorters. So, do I have my sorters on my hotbar? No. So, if we go to my control panel, do I have my sorters in here? Let's see, sorters. Yeah, minus sorters. And we're going to be toggling them. I don't think it's like toggling the block off. Maybe. Current input is nothing. Fine. Well, uh, we'll leave it like that. Although, this should not be the case actually. Because the sorter only manages the um, ejector from the bottom. So, there's actually no need for me to do this. Let's go up. Minus sorter, let's just keep it on, whatever. And let's turn off recharging and disconnect. Go into first person because I'm, I'm not the greatest pilot and you know that. And we're going to be seeing if we can actually get in under our base. And I'm, I'm really scared about this. Uh, I really am. Because it is quite large. Let's zoom in a bit. Can we fit? Uh, maybe. We can turn on the drills probably. Already. Let's see what's he doing. Yeah. Okay, I think we need to go down a tiny bit more. Or we'll just go inwards. If we f look from the bottom. Man, that's yeah, going to be a squeeze. Uh, oh, this is so tight. This really is so tight. I don't like it. We have to go down. Oh, wow, we're hitting the floor. That is too much. There you go. Let's go inwards. And I'm, I'm hoping that once I have this one sorted out a bit... It's going to be easier to go in and out of this contraption. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want it. See, oh, I didn't want it. Spacebar rider. Oh, the game sometimes is not relaxing at all. <laughs> oh, boy, I see sparkles going all over the place. Man. Um, can, can, we, can we please let, allow me to see the outside? No, it's like, no, forget it. You'll have to be in there. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's what we need to be doing. Let's, let's move out. Uh, we are moving out. The reason for it is I need to go after these unknown signals as well. Let's turn off my drills. Uh, since we have this flyer, well, we might as well go for them. It will bring us some new equipment, but also new skins. And I've been looking on how to get... I can't do that from this uh, inside of the vehicle, so... We'll have to wait until I um, hover over this. So let's go down. I'm so scared. What I should do is get myself a projector block. How those work, I don't know. I really, I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comment section. Maybe even on, uh, on Discord if you are someone that enjoys Discord. I know I am. So I'm... Spending a lot of time on Discord. Okay, how large... Lo oh, wow, this is pretty 
pretty steep still. There you go. Let's get out. And see how this will blow up in my face. There is a possibility that that could happen. It, of course, the block is on the other side. Of course, that is my luck. What's in here? Some interior plates. We'll take it. Whatever. Can we push you over? There we go. J -j no! Come on. Oh, come on. I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm hitting... I want to see what is in there. This will kill me, probably. Uh, oh, of course. I managed to stop it on the right wrong angle. That's up. That's down. Come on, one tiny go. That should be fine. I'm really scared about this. And uh, we got a uh, a new item. The badge of rifle. Visit the medical room and change your appearance. Now, I like those things. I like them so a lot. So, um, character tools. See, there is a building planner. And I don't know how to unlock other tools. Uh, what I'm worried about is that I might have to find them first. And since they're not in here, and I've checked, I actually don't know how to, uh, how to get them. Maybe it is really easy, and I'm just, just not finding out how. But I'm thinking we need to go and do those um, hidden signals a bit more. One of my dogs is barking downstairs, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I doubt you will hear that. So let's go to our base. And I want to check the assembler as well. To see if there is a way to get better tools. Because a mining tool, like, like that would help me out so badly. Same as a welding tool. Let's... let's uh, I'm overshooting this so badly all the time. I need to add way, way more brakes on this. Let's go in here. Let us... Hover. Okay, let's go inside. Now, I have to remember, some of the windows are in, except this one, due to the, uh, yeah, that, that little contraption out, out there. So, if I go into my assembler. Oh, I can actually make them. Why am I not making them? Platinum ingots for the, uh, the f level 3 grinders. Let's see if we can actually make 1, 2, and 3, because that would be brilliant at the moment and we got a rapid firing rifle a precision rifle a elite automatic rifle these names are so cool really like them there's so much you can do in this game i'm still absolutely explosives gravity component missiles ammo really like them really do so we'll take these wait for the other one now uh, let's go into production disassemble tools oh i have to put them in first so let's get you you and you and we're going to be disassembling you you and you there you go now with g character tools we'll uh we'll get some new tools which i i can't wait i've been looking forward to this so badly and i didn't know i could actually make this <laughs> second level Oh, sometimes I even amaze myself. So, yeah, we'll be working on this for quite a bit. And look how easy it is if you can bring in a miner like that. Unfortunately, yeah, I still have to go down about how many blocks? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. So, I reckon if I pull on you, so one, two, three, four. And now there is a access point from the buff so that would be five um yeah we can use them from above i don't mind seeing my conveyor tubes run from the well how do you say that the the floor 
if you see them running across over here like that because we know that the basement is going to be using is going to be used for our construction so one two three i have to go down even two more layers i doubt i will be able to during this episode uh, but let's take a look at what we can do to the base how we can make it so it doesn't just look like something uh came out we we need to get steel plates that is one thing though let's get some steel plates there you go and let's put in the interior plates over there that's a lot of plates but oh well whatever let's go so we know that we are going to be building out of here so getting like a small like plateau from over here but we'll definitely need to be oh i need to go closer and and this is so normal this is what everyone is doing it's just squaring off but just making it look like there is this extra plateau and at the corners we can just do what we did over here like making it look like there actually is support that our base is not just hovering. I'm not sure if I want to have all of this at the same side. Although, well, maybe I do. Maybe I do. It is one of the easiest way to make a building not look like a squared out brick. Although, what I'm worried about right now is that by doing the... Oh, that's not what I want. I have to be extremely careful now. Uh, by doing it like this is it still looks like a brick but then with a color on so maybe we'll have to remove a few maybe we'll have to build some pillars upwards that could be a thing just pillars mm, we could actually make no I don't want to do that on the roof I know a lot of people would say you have to build like a plateau for your um, miner to be sitting on. But if I do that on here, that also means I have to get conveyor belts from the, uh, the ground up to there. And that is not something I really, really enjoy. Now, if I look at this, then I'd say, uh, damn, that looks horrible. This is not going to do well for me. We might have to go even down a block down. And we'll just see what we can do with the roof. But we'll do that another time. Uh, for now, I'd say, what can we do? Well, maybe, just maybe, we can make a large container. And we'll make it inside of this area for now. Most likely around this section. And we'll move everything once we need it to move. So let's go to... Uh, do we have like storage? Large blocks. No, we'll go like container. And large container. And damn it is large. And we need interior plates. We could also start queuing up in our production, I believe. Let's see, these are large blocks, so container. Do one of these. We're missing items. I. It should be building. Oh, yeah. Don't be on disassembling. You need to be on assembling. And this way it will queue up everything and it starts working on that. So we'll be just dropping this one down here right now. It's it's not going to be pretty. But we desperately need the storage. Oh boy. We desperately need it. So conveyors. Uh, small. No, I need the, the regular size. There you go. On 8. Now there is a upper area, right? So what we could do... Oh boy, we need to destroy this. Uh, that's... Oh, that's going to be annoying. We need to tear this down completely. 
That really is annoying. How can we do this in a different manner? Mm. I still have the wrong block, huh? Yeah, of course I do. So... Conveyor tube, that's the one. Go away. There you go. Conveyor tube. Can we hook you up differently? Yeah, I think we might be able to. Although, it des it's not going to be fit. We need to tear this one down. Uh, I'll do this off camera, guys. I know not much has happened. Uh, but, yeah. I just wanted to show you the base, in all honesty. Uh, that is what this uh, it, this is all about. If you have ideas for the, um, the outside... Do let me know. Let me turn on my light back on. Do let me know how to fix this brick-like structure. We can also ex make extensions to make it less like a brick. Although, well, it is going to be difficult, I guess. So, for now, thank you all so much for watching. I uh, truly hope you've enjoyed. And see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.